Curio Craft and Conjure. You don't have to know what you're looking for, but the owners say you'll usually figure it out. Because there's not one type of person. So everyone is going to be attracted to something else. Mother and daughter Gina and Gianna Spriggs own the metaphysical store. You might pass it if you don't know where you're going. Tucked away on North Davidson Street. And they usually ask her, like, what's it like working with your mom? And they expect her to say, I hate it. But, <laughs> but the thing is, you know, we, we live together, we work together, we have a great relationship. The duo honor magical traditions from around the world. Books, candles, crystals, incense, tarot cards, and more. We encourage people to just look at what they're attracted to. A treasure trove that opened July 2018. Every time we needed money, we, the money appeared. Any time we needed anything, it just happened. And so we knew that we were supposed, we weren't receiving any no's from the universe. Everything was a yes. A place you can come for a little bit of magic. Magic, always a huge part of their lives. Gina started reading tarot cards when she was 16 years old. Tarot, I always say, saved my life because it helped me blend in. I wasn't this weird girl that was, you know, staring off into the distance and saying, you know, I see you are in grave danger. What is tarot, you might ask? Gianna and I are each going to allow you to pull a card and a crystal. Yay! And we are going to come up with a, a specific reading for either one of you. So who, who wants to be the guinea pig? Oh my gosh, could I? Okay. <laughs> The card that you chose was the Eight of Swords reversed, okay? Eight of Swords is a very interesting card because traditionally in tarot, it actually means confinement. It basically talks about restriction. Uh-oh. It basically tells me that you are allowing yourself, with the support of your ancestors, to break any thought patterns that are inhibiting or restricting you. Phew, the mother and daughter's main message to believers and skeptics. If you stay open, then you're staying open to receiving those types of miracles.